here's another way that you can combine Appify with OpenAI. And I'm doing a lot of these because I think the combination of them is really powerful. Where AI excels is when it has data to work with. And a lot of smaller businesses, especially, are not going to have that data to feed into AI. So AI is not going to be that powerful. But if you can scrape data from somewhere and then feed that into an AI model, you can get very useful information out. So here, what I've done is I've used a Appify model here for scraping Google Maps reviews. And I've just ta taken a random business. They've got 1600 reviews or so on Google Maps. So I know there's a plenty of data there for Appify to scrape and a lot for OpenAI to use. I've scraped all that data and then I've just exported a CSV here and then imported it into Google Sheets. This is our reviews table here. Over 1600 rows, 400 of those rows don't have comments. So I'm just excluding those in the logic here. So I'm just doing a simple exclusion. If the review text is blank, then don't include it. Oh, and then this, I'm also just looking at the top 300 reviews just to keep this a little bit lightweight as well. Here, I've just got my data and now I'm feeding that into ChatGPT and I've just got a simple prompt. You are a brand and experience expert for entertainment businesses. This is an entertainment business that I'm looking at the reviews for. And I'm just saying, analyze these reviews and give the top 10 recommendations to build a better brand and experience for this business. So you can do this on your own business if you've got lots of reviews on Facebook or Google, or you can do it on your competitors' businesses. Or even if you haven't started a business yet, you could look into the marketplace and take four or five of the best and see what their customers are saying. And you can look at thousands of reviews in seconds using this logic. So I've given it a prompt and then I've fed in the data here with the second message. Now the result is quite interesting. So based on these reviews for this business, the best way I can improve my customer experience is for an enhanced training of our staff. Okay, well, that's pretty generic, but let's see why that is. Multiple reviews highlighted poor handling of incidents. Okay, that's pretty good feedback. Uh, some racial slurs, unsatisfactory customer service. There were some safety concerns in some of those reviews, a feeling unsafe behavior from other patrons, inadequate staff response. So definitely some staff training needs to happen here. Some negative experiences not properly addressed. And that was because the owner of this business had negatively commented on a couple of those reviews. Repeated visits could be encouraged by offering new challenges and visuals. So it's actually giving some very good responses here for whether it's my business or a competitor's business that I'm looking at. You know, if I'm competing with this business, well, I know if I want to be better than them, these are the things that I have to focus on in this industry, in this niche to make my business better now, based on what their feedback has been. And you can also do this on your own business reviews and get feedback directly from what you're doing. But if you're new and you don't have a lot of data, then do it on your competitors, get some industry feedback in general, and then start your business focusing on those pain points, and you'll be able to win quite a lot of market share from those competitors that are not correctly serving their customers. So fantastic sort of tool here. And the cost of this, um, to sort of scrape all this data, we're looking at total cost of $1.64, pretty cheap there. And then to run the AI, we're looking at a cost of 7,000 tokens. So a couple of cents there. So for a dollar and 40 cents, you've, you've done a whole week's worth, a whole month's worth of market research. You know, a lot of businesses pay market research teams to trawl through comments and, and essentially just give you what this AI has given you here. Obviously there's a lot more that goes into branding and experiences, but listening to your customers, listening to your competitors, customers can give you a huge leg up in any business. And this will be incredibly powerful for any business that uses a system like this and, and takes advantage of, of these AIs and of these API tools. Okay, so I want to share another way that we can use AI to do a little bit of market research. So I actually use this for my own business for when I'm researching ideas for YouTube videos. 
What I generally do is I start out by finding other videos that other channels have done on a similar or even the same topic. And then I get a list of their comments from those videos. And then I analyze them to see, you know, what did they do well? What did they not do so well? Where can that video be improved? And this is actually very easy to do in bulk. You can create a, a list of competitor videos with just the IDs of them. And then you could run that list through a YouTube comment scraper through Appify. Here, I've just simply run that comment scraper to give you an example directly in Appify rather than connecting it to a database, because I just wanted to look at two videos that I'm looking at doing something similar based on those videos. And I want to see what are people saying about them. So I just said to Appify, look at those two videos, extract the top hundred comments from those. And then I will feed that into ChatGPT and we'll get some response from that. So here's what happened. I ran it and it returned the data and it returned about 206 comments. And not all of those comments will be useful, but it returned 206 comments. And here they are here. I just imported them into a Google Sheet. You could, of course, automate all this and connect it up Appify to Google Sheets. So it creates the rows. Um, based on the results that it gets. Here we've got the list of comments from YouTube and it's got a whole bunch of other information here like the comment likes, etc. So you could also give weighting to this if you wanted to, like sort them based on comment like and then extract the top like comments if you've got thousands of comments, for instance, um, number of replies, etc. So here I've just got my comment data and now what I'm doing in Make is I'm doing a search of this Google Sheet and this could be in anything, could be in Airtable or Baserow, Notion, Coda, wherever you want to store it. Google Sheets, probably the best for doing this type of stuff because it's going to be so much data, right? If you're extracting thousands of comments, you don't want to pay to have that in Airtable or Coda. You might as well use Google Sheet where you've got millions of rows and you, you can just use that for free. So here I'm doing a basic filter that the comment text exists. I could also do comment text is greater than 100 characters. And then I could sort this based on the uh, number of likes on the comment to weight those comments. But uh, that's just some basic filtering. And then I've added a text aggregation module here. So I'm just aggregating all of those different comment texts, 200 of, of them, into just a text string. And that will just be a really long string that I'm just going to push into ChatGPT. You can see it's not really formatted, but that's fine. ChatGPT can still make sense of it. We don't need to do a lot of work for ChatGPT. Then I'm using the 4.0 system here. I've just added a couple of little basic prompts. You are a YouTube content expert. Analyze these YouTube comments and give a list of what the YouTube video does well and where it needs improvement. So just a very basic prompt here. But from that prompt, we're already starting to get some very good output. Now, here I can see, okay, the things that the commenters, the actual viewers of these videos, and these videos have over 500,000 views each, right? So it's about a million views. And we're just looking at the top 200 comments from those million views. People love the clarity, the simplicity, the depth of the content. These are long form videos, about two hours long. They like the engaging and presentation style. Quite often these videos do a lot of cuts. They've got chapters in the videos, title, screens, etc. that all the videos have practical use cases. They use some visual aids to help show some more complex concepts using like whiteboards and in this case, paper and markers for one of the videos. They're very comprehensive, detailed, supportive, and inspirational. So just some sort of normal sort of comments there. And then here we've got some areas of improvement. Some comments mentioned that they found the information hard to retain. And that could be because maybe some areas in the video sort of glossed over some more complex information. It could also be that the video is just really long, but that's interesting that some information retention had some issues. And so here it's actually giving me some ideas of how I could help users retain information. I could go over to the chat GPT portal and also just communicate with it there if I wanted to, rather than just in this system here. Having some interaction and hands-on approach would be better and some more practical examples in the videos would be better. So that's, you know, three quite good points around the same sort of topic um, based on the information that I fed it based on the comments. So I know that if I'm going to do a video in this particular topic, that I should 
make sure that I'm covering at least the top five things that ChatGPT evaluated from the comments. That's what's pushed those videos up into the half million views. And I should also try and add a little bit more focus on these three areas in my videos that I create to try and get me above those existing videos, to try and improve on what they've done to get more views and get more responses. For less than a dollar, I've, I've literally read 200 comments on the two top performing videos and got some very good summary of what people are liking and not liking from those videos. So it gives me a really good avenue for recording that video going forward.